infrastructure, we'll be taking a look at how we can do initialization and make some Ajax calls as well. So over here, I've created a small HTML page, which basically contains a single div, which will display the data received from the API call. So here, I'm making use of open weather map to get the temperature of a city called London. Now here, you can see I'm making use of the fetch API to do this job. So here I'm passing the parameters, that's app ID and the city ID. And whatever response I'm getting, I'm fetching the maximum temperature and storing it into the temp variable. And this temp then goes over here in X text. So as soon as you can see, this X initialization gets called and it gets called as soon as the page renders and this function will be called. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, how it's getting executed. So here's the maximum temperature. Now let me open up the developer console and here the network page. Now if you see when I load this page, this is the call that we are making. Here is the main object using which we are retrieving this temp max and this gets called as soon as the page loads and the reason behind it because we are making use of the x init which basically calls an api and gets the result assigns it to the x data temp state and then we make use of that state using x text and that displays the data